sitting at the outset of this broadcast, I said that this is the culmination of what has been a, over a four-year effort to overthrow this president, to first deny his candidacy uh, uh, d uh, the uh, election, but then uh, to overthrow his presidency. This looks like the effort to uh, to carry out an end game in the in the effort against him. Uh, do you concur? Oh, absolutely, and it's uh, it's been. Uh, organized and, and conducted with the help of Silicon Valley people, the, the big tech companies, the social media companies, and even the media companies. And I'm going to release the Kraken. Well, good, because this is, uh, this is, this is an extraordinary and, uh, and such a dangerous moment in our history. Uh, I really am very concerned uh, for the country. Uh, I am very concerned for all Americans. I, and I have a feeling that most Democrats are first Americans and not Democrats. They have to be as alarmed as any one of us. Uh, Cindy, we're glad that you are on the, uh, on the, on the charge uh, to straighten out all of this. It is a, a foul mess. Uh, and it is uh, far more sinister than any of us could have imagined, uh, even uh, over the course of the past four years. You get the last word, Sydney. It is indeed a very foul mess. It is farther and wider and deeper than we ever thought. But we are going to go after it, and I am going to expose every one of them. Sydney Powell, thanks for being with us, and thanks for all that you're doing. We appreciate it. A great American. So you heard that right. That was Trump lawyer Sidney Powell saying she's going to quote unquote release the Kraken in the looming case around the supposed stolen election where Joe Biden, the media, all of America's enemies, foreign and domestic, have stolen this election from Donald Trump. And you have Lou Dobbs, a host on a major Fox business, you know, Fox News Network umbrella show egging her on, saying that, oh, this is an awful moment. I'm scared for the country. Democrats will wake up and realize that they are Americans first and that this election is being stolen from them too. Guys, this is crazy. This is 100% certified bonkerdom. This is crazy, guys. The election's over. It's over. Look, you can be happy Biden won, sad Biden won, indifferent Biden won, but Biden won. He's going to win 360 electoral college votes, the exact same Donald Trump won. And rather than lose by 3 million, he's going to win by five and who knows, maybe even 6 million when every single vote is finally counted in all 50 states. This election's over. And Donald Trump and his cronies and his family and his most sycophantic supporters continue to try and effectively launch a coup against the American people. And again, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but even if the coup fails, and I believe it will, it's still poisoning democracy because this sort of discourse isn't going to stop the second Trump is confirmed to have lost. It's not like on inauguration day or when the electoral college officially votes and basically crowns Biden the next president that all of this will go away. It's not. Even if Fox tries to tamp it down, it's too late. Trump supporters all over the United States by the millions will forever think incorrectly that this election was stolen and that will poison democracy. And people like Fox News, companies like Fox News, people on Fox News have played a role in that. They have have they have nothing. They have nothing. I went over it this morning. They have nothing. Trump's lawyers and Trump's sycophants in the media, when they go onto Fox News, can say whatever they want. But when they get into courtrooms, all of Trump's lawyers admit they have nothing because you can't lie in court like you can lie on a Fox News Network stage. You can't do it. They have this Kraken, supposedly. They would have released it already. There is nothing here. All you're seeing here is a desperate, anti-democratic, autocratic flailing about by Trump, his family, and his goddamn show lawyers. 
They deserve nothing less than to be defeated at the polls, and they already have, but now, given their utter distaste for democracy, should be thrown into the dustbin of history forever. And that includes people like Lou Dobbs that not only enable this, but encourage it on international television. These people deserve nothing less than utter irrelevance.